Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to be cooking BIR style lamb seek kebabs and garlic mayo sauce. Before I begin, please take a second to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. To make around six full size seek kebabs, you will need 500 grams of lamb mince, two teaspoons of garlic ginger paste, two teaspoons of Kashmiri powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of cumin powder, four green finger chilies chopped finely, one teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of fenugreek leaves, one teaspoon of mint sauce, one small grated onion, half a cup of fresh chopped coriander, and two tablespoons of ghee, oil, or butter to coat when cooking. And for the garlic mayo sauce, you will need four tablespoons of mayonnaise, four tablespoons of yogurt, any style, but make sure it's plain, two garlic cloves, very finely grated or crushed, a pinch of salt and pepper, and a squeeze of lemon juice. For the kebabs, add the mince into a clean bowl, add the onions, spices, chilli powder, fresh chilies, garlic, ginger paste, salt, mint sauce and coriander evenly over the meat. Using your hand, thoroughly mix all the spices in by squishing and mixing continuously. You want to make sure the spices are evenly mixed throughout the meat, so make sure you mix for a good few minutes. By squashing with your hands, you're also blending the meat into a finer mush than just plain mint meat, so it stays together when cooked. Cover with cling film, squeeze out as much air as possible, and allow the spices to infuse in the fridge for at least two hours. I make mine the day before cooking for the best flavours. The kebabs can be made in advance and refrigerated before being cooked. Just make sure your mince is still in date on the day that you cook them. They can be cooked in many ways, but however you intend to cook them, take about one sip for the mixture and form it into a sausage shape in your hands. If you have these traditional thick skewers, push the side most of the way through the mixture, then use your fingers to join it together. Turn in the skewer frequently and using your hands to press down gently, joining, shaping and flattening the meat as you go. If there is too much, simply pull off some of the bottom. If things start to stick on your hands, use the oil or ghee to coat the surface. I'll add a link to where I purchased these in the description below. If you don't have any skewers, simply take out some of the mixture and either shape it into burger style patties, alternatively roll and mould it into a sausage shape. Coat with a little ghee or oil to stop them sticking to your plate, pan or griddle. I tend to square off the edges of the shapes. This helps me to get an even cook by turning them a quarter of a turn each time and I don't roll around the pan. Now either grill or oven cook on at least 200 degrees for around 6 to 10 minutes, turning every minute. You may need a little longer in the oven. I normally use the oven grill set to a very hot 250 degrees Celsius. I remove the metal grill bars and rest the skewers on the grill drip tray itself, which keeps them off all the surfaces. Alternatively, cook over the barbecue or in my homemade tandoor, a link for which is popping up now. However you cook the kebabs, turn them every minute to ensure an even cook. Here I'm cooking the skewer free kebabs in a griddle pan, but a normal frying pan would be just as good. If you have used skewers, gently pull down the meat from the end to release it before pushing them both off onto a plate. If you use thick skewers and simply push from the bottom, they can stick and break apart. Now for the mayo sauce. Simply combine four tablespoons of mayonnaise, four tablespoons of yogurt, the garlic, a sprinkle of salt and pepper, and squeeze of lemon into a bowl. Mix well and you're ready to go. Make in advance and store refrigerated for up to five days. Serve the kebabs on their own with the dip on a fresh naan drizzled in my garlic mayo sauce or in a gently toasted pita with salad and onions. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Comments are always appreciated and it's always a bonus when you subscribe. Check out this and many more recipes on my website at thecurrykid.co.uk.